covering St. John's County, it is a story that has many parents expressing shock and disgust on our Facebook page. A school maintenance worker has been charged with repeatedly molesting a young girl in St. Augustine over about a three-year period. 34-year-old Zachary Bass is now out on a $100,000 bond. Deputies say the incidents did not involve a student from a school. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pickett is live in St. John's County where he tried to track down Bass and talk to the sheriff's office about the arrest. Jim. You know, this is where Zachary Bass worked, right here. This isn't a school. This is actually a maintenance warehouse where he is a plumber. Now, in talking to school officials today, he has been suspended. But get this, he's suspended with pay pending their investigation on this point. But there are something, there are things that we found out today of what happened in this case. Zachary Bass may have worked at many of the schools in St. John's County doing maintenance work, but deputies say that's not where the crime occurred. None of the information that we currently have leads anywhere to a school system. These all occurred in private residences in, in several locations in St. John's County. The police report lays out graphic details of what happened. It does say the victim was younger than 12 years old. Most of it has been blocked out or redacted. But it says that last month, a relative of the young victim called the sheriff's office upset and told investigators that Zachary Bass touched the young girl but didn't want to go into detail. That led detectives to more questioning. The report says the victim was fondled and sexually assaulted and was forced to touch Bass. It says it didn't just happen once, but many times. But a number of instances over the course of some three years, potentially, um, where, where different and various acts of sexual exploitation and manipulation, if you will, had occurred. The St. John's County School Board is aware of what happened and last week hand delivered this letter to Bass, letting him know he was suspended, but with pay. He's not allowed on school property or allowed to discuss the suspension. We did try tracking him down at various addresses. At each location, he wasn't there, and neighbors nearby said they didn't want to comment about him. We also called him, but have not had any response. Again, investigators say this did not involve a student from any of the schools. No signs or connections to any activity with any other uh, children. Uh, this seems to be isolated to one particular child. Also looked into court records. We don't see a court date set for an arraignment here, but also school officials say they are standing by. They're watching. If they get more information from the sheriff's department, they may even do more themselves. We're live in St. John's County. Jim Pigott, Channel 4, the local station.